Good evening, everybody. Well, hang on a second here before I give you guys a good evening. Let me find. There we go. That's Mo Beta. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another me messed up edition of Workshop Taz. Today we've got a new, uh, a new uh, toy, toy tool, new tool added to the uh, Workshop Taz edition here, or should I say, to the Workshop Taz family. Uh, I'm replacing uh, another benchtop drill press that I had. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some drilling first and then I'll give you guys the comparison between the two. One you've seen all the time because it's on sale. The other one's not. Oh, it's kind of rare it's on sale, but when it is on sale, it's kind of nice to get it for that price. So let me switch you guys around here. And this is what we got. So obviously this is the one that's on sale all the time. And I've had this for, oh, I don't know, three, four, five years. It's been, a, it's been good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Other than the fact that it's cheap, but it's uh, worked reliably. Reliably, reliably. Um, it's got the little work light. This one does not have the work light, which kind of makes me mad. And this is the new one, so let me go up here so you guys can see. That's the one's on sale. This one is very rarely on sale. I got this one for a coupon for ninety nine bucks. It's good till the thirty first of December. I can see the column on the new one is a little bit thicker. Uh, the table is a little bit bigger on this. I'll go into all that type of stuff here in a few minutes. But first, we're going to carve a hole in here. And we have some 4-inch tube. I can't even call it tube. 4-inch square. And I was going to measure it to see just exactly how thick that was. We're also going to use some um, chunky 2009 squares about about man I just cannot talk today swears by this stuff I've never used it I've always used WD-40 I'm kinda cheap so I did decide to stop by my local big box store pick up some of this stuff and you can see this is the special brand is dark thread cutting oil as opposed to the light threaded cutting oil which I have no idea what the heck the difference is nor do I even really care so let's, with that let's get uh, let's get the bore in a hole here and then I'll uh, I'll show you guys what's going on. Let's see if we got, if we get you guys a little bit closer here. Okay, how's that? Is that going to show you guys, give you guys an idea what's going on? You can see the drill bit. You can see what I'm getting ready to drill. It'll probably take a while. I've got this on, uh, what do I have this on? On 300 RPM, so it's probably going to drill pretty slow. Um, I think they say 300 to 400 for mild steel. I haven't uh, tried that yet, so let's do a little bit. Of, I suppose I have to uh, pop off the cap of this stuff. That little. Uh, yep, it's uh, it's dark, all right. Oh no, I'm gonna put that crazy thing there. So, squirt a little bit of stuff on here and get drilling. See what we got going on here. We've got my clamp all clamped down real tight. I see quite a bit of wobble here. It's definitely not. It's definitely not. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I've seen them wobble worse, but it's not. Uh, it's, it's not perfect. That's for sure. Thank you. 
The idea is to try to make this drill bit last as long as possible. It's uh, not the best. I have to kind of agree with Chucky 2009. I kind of, I kind of like this stuff. I mean, I know that's what its intended purpose is for like a, a thread cutting oil, but it seems to work pretty nice for drills too. Um, yeah. Okay. So what we'll do here is we will clamp this puppy. Quick, brush all this crap off. So actually, kind of, uh, kind of, sort of re review two products today. Well, I shouldn't say review. That's not necessarily true. I'm not really reviewing it. I'm just showing you guys because, just because. So anyway. Okay, so you guys around here, there's the hole. I still have some burrs on the underside of it there, so you're gonna kind of see that. Oops, sorry about that. And the drill bit is uh, one of the uh, Harbor Freight Warrior drill bits. That come I've, in this pack here. Sometimes you get them for nine nine ninety nine or whatever when they're on sale. Right now I think they're on sale for thirteen. I try to wait till they go on sale. So that's kind of where this stuff came in is to try to make that last as long as possible. Doing that. Okay. So with that, sorry for the camera being all over the place. So anyway, this is the one that uh, I just picked up. It seems to be okay. Uh, you know, it's it's horrible freight quality, which kind of drives me nuts because this thing's been manufactured long enough that they could, for the price, they could actually do a little bit better job, but I'm not going to complain. I'll just keep my mouth shut. Now, the difference is between this one, this one has a crank, so it has a rack and pinion type. And I'll show you here. You have the same thing back here where you loosen it up, the same one on here. This one... If you guys can see that, you loosen it up the same way, and then you just have to manually wiggle the table. Or this one, you loosen up. And everything both slides this way and this way also. The whole rack unit and stuff slides back and forth. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'll get it over here so the rack kind of slides with it. This collar is bolted to the column here. Okay, and then you just have your little your little rack here. You just crank it up wherever you need it. I don't know if I'm getting that all on my camera or not. Sorry about that. Usually I have my camera stationary, but not today. So, and I've got this handle in the way. So there's the rack part. Uh, kind of surprised by this handle. It's it's plastic. And then this doesn't roll at all. It's just one big molded piece of plastic. And it's, you know, I mean, I know it's only a hundred bucks. I get it, but still, they could have done a little bit better job with that, in my opinion. Then you tighten this puppy back up. And that's how you adjust your table. And yes, this table does, uh, will turn vertical. There's a bolt down here. Right down there. And you, uh, loosen that puppy up. And then you can tilt your table. Same thing with this one down here. Uh, one of the things I noticed when you guys get these things, if you decide to get one, make sure you put a level up here and try to level this because the, it was off from the factory just a little bit. So, And I don't know how accurate that is. I just use a level on the table. Um, same thing with that one. Okay, so that's about it. I don't know what the horsepower on these motors are. It's not listed anywhere that I can see. 
There's the specs for that one. Specs for that one. Uh, the slowest this puppy will go is 760 RPM, 1150 RPM, 1630, 2180, and 30, 3070. So, um, the nice thing, one of the reasons, the uh, deciding factors was this. I wanted to slow. This will work for steel, but 700 and what did I say? 760 is a, a little bit high for steel it can be done you just have to be really careful this is more for wood where this you can slow it down more it's going to take a little longer to get through that hole but it's a lot easier on uh drill bits so and there's what our spindle speeds there we have 300 370 470 oops sorry about that 570 470 370, 300, 630, 690, 950, I say 6, yeah, 690, and then 1400, 2900, 2550, 1760, and 1620. I'm, I'm curious at how uh, accurate those are. So I'll give you an idea what the insides look like, your pulleys. Just so you guys can see, I don't know if that makes really any difference, but just gives you an idea of what's going on in there. I think I already showed you guys that. That's just a two pulley system. Uh, what else about this? I don't know where I can really, like I said, it doesn't have a light. Um, I can't really think of anything. Oh, I, I know what I do. I, that's not true. I will show you the difference between the uh, widths of the table. So. Or the size of the table. So this one. Let me do this. Sorry about that for the wiggly camera. Hopefully that shows you. And then we'll come over here. Except now I gotta do this. back hope that lights not shining in there too much of course I'm wiggling the table okay so that gives you the idea of the different size of the tables and uh, you know, like I said the, the fact that it is a little bit bigger unit um, so I'm hoping for the best for this. I did not buy the warranty for this, nor did I buy the warranty for that. This one has not let me down. I don't know if I'm going to get an extended warranty with this or not. It, it could be a good thing and it could be not a good thing. There's really nothing in here that if something happens, I can't fix or replace. So I may not do that. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I don't know. But anyway, that's all I really got. I don't, uh, I can't really... I mean, it's just a drill press. It's nothing exciting. It's nothing, uh, it is uh, quite a bit more robust than the other one. Or I should say a little bit more robust. So I think I'll just show you kind of, you know, a whole lot. This one served me well, but I, I, there has been a time or two when I run out of, you know, run out of, uh, what am I thinking of? Anyway, it didn't, couldn't always do what I needed to do. It worked, but barely. Okay, that's all I got. So let me flip you guys back around here. Uh, that's all I got. Hopefully that helps you if you guys are thinking about getting this one uh like i said the coupon is good for hey i'm not drilling now so i can take these crazy things off um the coupon is good till the 31st of december if you guys are thinking about, if you need to upgrade some you know i like I said the the one that was for 54 dollars on sale all the time it uh has served me well i just uh want to start doing a bit heavier steel and some other stuff and wanted a little bit bigger one and it was on sale i mean women buy shoes we buy drill presses i mean i don't know what do you what do you do? Anyway, thanks for uh, watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I had a question for you guys. Oh, yes, I do have a question. Hang on. Let me show you guys something here. Maybe one of you guys out there in YouTube land can answer this. What the heck is this? What is this? What do I...
Well, I won't say what I would do with that. I'm sure somebody will tell me what I can do with it. What is this? Now, why I'm asking, bring you guys over. I cannot find it in the instruction manual at all. I can't find it on the picture. Well, as a matter of fact, I'll show you guys that. I can't find it anywhere listed in here. Of course, that's the safety stuff and all that. Um, I can't find it anywhere in here. Any says anything about it or anything. I'm going to have to reread and see if I missed something, but you know, there's no picture for it. They're not showing it anywhere in here or anywhere up in here. And when all else fails, if you. Oh, hang on a second here. Yeah, it doesn't show it anywhere. I, I have no idea. I do not know what the heck that crazy thing does. I thought maybe it might be to go back in behind here when you're adjusting the motor and pry in between these two things so you can spread these things out so you can tighten up the belt. But I don't know if that's what that's for or not. I just used a screwdriver. I have no idea what that crazy thing is. So if all else fails, you can usually go to the, the, the assembly diagram. I realize I'm wiggling this, so I apologize. That's the belt and the pulleys. That's all that. That's all that. I cannot find that crazy thing anyway. That thing over there, that's the rack and the and the column and the crank and all this stuff. Let me put it down here so I'm not wiggling quite as bad. Sorry about that, guys and gals. So I have no idea what the heck that thing is. I can't find it anywhere. So, if you guys have bought one of these and you know what that is, let me know, please. I'd appreciate it. Um, I, I don't know. It's crazy. I've never seen anything like that. What what that be? What that be? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Hopefully this guys helped you out if this is something you're interested in. And hopefully you guys can help me out find out what the heck that thing is. I don't know. Does it? it I don't know. What does that do? Uh, that's all I got. Thanks, guys. Have a great uh, rest of the week. This is Thursday, so Friday's tomorrow, obviously. And you guys have a great weekend if you're not working. And I got some other projects, hopefully this weekend. If I have the weekend off, I got some other stuff I wanted to show you guys. And I also had, um, there was a couple of viewers that asked me some questions that I'll answer in video. And do I remember what they were right offhand? No, I don't. So I'm going to have to, uh, I'll have to dig those questions back up. Anyway, I'm freezing. So you guys have a great uh, week and the rest of the week. A great weekend. Thanks a lot. Bye. Okay, how do we turn this off? Where is it? There we go.